Good morning. It is Father's Day. Time for a coffee talk. Grab your coffee. Let's chat about some tanks. Let's see what we got on the docket for today. We are going to talk about missions, sales, as usual. Go over those two things. There's a trade-in right now. Kind of an interesting thing about that. We'll look at it. Soccer madness. I call it soccer. You call it football. I don't call it football. It's not football. American football is football. This is soccer. <laughs> I just alienated 95% of the world. <laughs> we'll talk about football and the madness that's going on. Lots of crazy missions there. I'm not doing much of it, but we'll dive into it just a little bit. And then we'll get into 1.0.2, which has just dropped. Hopefully you have your, is it a 277 and K91, I think? I just finished, by the way, grinding the standard B, the tier 9 Italian tank. So I have unlocked the tier 10. As you can see, my silver is a little bit low, and I have three tier 10s to buy to get back to owning all of them. Based on the K91 and the 277, I think it is, showing up. I've unlocked all that stuff, so right now I'm just grinding. I've got quite a few replays with premiums, because that's what I'm grinding. You can see that I've got my GF. 4193 marked. Managed to do that while I've been doing some grinding here, trying to get credits. Lots of credit boosters floating around these days, which is surprising. But let's get into it. We will start with the missions. Happy Father's Day. Did I already mention that? I don't know. Happy Father's Day. Let's move on. Well, the missions are busy. There are a lot of things going on mission-wise. You know, my camera's kind of crappy, isn't it? I'm just looking at myself here admiring the greatness of me. I <laughs> uh, should probably shave for one thing, but number two, I need to get a new camera. That's terrible. All right. It's fuzzy, isn't it? I think it is. Where was I? Football collection. I said there's a lot of soccer football going on. So multiple missions. I'm not going to break this down too much, but essentially you play a lot is what they want you to do. You play a lot, and there's a lot of pretty good missions. The money's okay in there. Uh, let me sidebar this just a little bit with the soccer thing. I've played probably half a dozen games, and it appears to me that the best move is to sit in the, in the cap, which is the goal. Sit at the goal and shoot across the entire field and try to knock it into the goal. I've played a couple where I ran around, but... That seemed mostly pointless based on how fast everybody reloaded. It was extremely difficult to get anywhere like behind the ball to kind of push it the way you want. It was really just random, and it was much more effective to sit in the very back, at least two of you, and shoot at the ball. And maybe the T-62 runs around out in front. Let me know what you found. I, I didn't like it very much. I thought the last one was better. I didn't, I didn't care for the last one as much either. But they're trying to expand it and make it more interesting by adding different tanks. So... I don't know, that was odd to me, that the best plan was to just sit in the cap. The goal. <laughs> but you see that I got a couple things. One cool thing is, I think it's only one game required. You get a pretty decent little like digital color camo. You can see the colors right there, and it looks pretty cool in the tank. It's non-historical, so turn it off if you don't like it. I generally don't like the historical stuff, but I actually sort of liked that. It was kind of neat looking. But lots of other stuff you can get. The BDR half-track thing is still ongoing. Not for long, though. This is the last few days, so if you haven't finished that, you're going to want to do that. Tank Mastery is, as always, going on. And we get down to Supply Raid. This is kind of that standard mission on the weekend. If they don't have anything else, they throw out the Supply Raid, and it gets you little go goodies, little goodies, little goodies along the way. Double Crew XP for victories be in the top 10 and a win. That's a good deal. Good deal. That's the weekend bonus. Wow, the FV4005 is on track. You'll see I messed around. I thought for a moment I might do that, but decided against it because I really didn't feel like grinding the TDs. But at least the British TDs with turrets are not as annoying as casemates. It does have that going for it. Other missions. This is interesting, and we'll touch on it maybe later, but the 4190 GF. If you kept 
the 4190 GF and did not turn it into the, the newer version that doesn't have the Grand Finals skin. They actually threw a bone to those people and they have a mission. I don't really understand why they would need to be rewarded for keeping the GF skin. That was a little odd, but top five and win. A real quick thing here, when you click on this, you come over here and you say, all right, I want to do this. It says it's for the 4190 GF and we come over here and we go, okay, top five, right? So what vehicles do I have available? Oops, that's the wrong one. It helps to go to the right one. There we go. Top five. And there we go. Oh, you know what? That's very strange. That's very strange. So I played one game and did not get top five. Of course, I didn't get the times two. So I was messing around in here getting ready for this video. And I clicked on this and it said something times two and it said not available or no suitable vehicles is what it said. And I said, well, that's, what do you mean? I have a 4190 GF. Then I went, messed around a little bit and I played one more game just to make sure the times two is working. Got times top five, got my times two, and now it's cleared out. So that's just a weird little bug right there. I don't know anybody who goes through those tabs and try to figure out what tank they have available for their missions. For the few people that do, just watch out for that. You might think, oh, it's telling me it's not available, but in fact it is available. One of those weird little UI things where if they're not really looking in all the different corners of their UI for goofy stuff like that, it ends up showing up. The T26E5, I think, is a rental. I own one. I believe it's a rental right now. And it's got a mission where you get top 10 and you get some goodies. So that's definitely, if that's in your in your garage, jump in that thing and get those couple of goodies right there. And the KV2R has a similar thing to the 91, 4190GF. If you bought that bad boy, you've got some bonuses that you can get in there as well. I'm only going to go over here just to show you real quick, but there's basically, and we'll get into it with the soccer thing in a little bit, but there's basically two things going on here. There's this rolling steel, which is playing the game, and then there's this card game, which you can only get to through this fella over here, old Gigi, buffoon. <laughs> is it buffon or buffoon? I like Buffoon, but he looks like he could kick my rear, so maybe I shouldn't say that. This is the little card game they have going on here, which will get you some prizes. We'll talk about it in a little while, but there's that confused me for a little bit. It's actually two separate things happening at once and at the same time. At once and at the same time. Let's go over to the sales. I lied. Sue me. We're not going to the sales. We're going to the discounts and whatnot and the rest of the weekend for Father's Day. I think I just slurped there while I was drinking that. All right, XP conversion, that's cool. Regular tier vehicles, bunch of sales. Premium vehicles are on sale. This is this is going to tie into the trade-in, which we'll talk about. We'll talk about in a minute. Standard war gaming marketing, fantastic. I think you know what's going to happen here. Camouflage 50 emblem, some other good stuff. 50%. I always grab. I won't now because I'm out of gold, but. Uh, I always grab a couple garage slots during these 50% offs. It's always nice to have three or four, especially because at some point you may feel like you want to get a couple more tanks on a tech tree or you want to buy one or two and having a couple extra slots around is good. I have tons and tons of slots, but that's a good deal, 50% off. Consumables, equipment. Do not sell consumables right now. Wait till the sale is over. Don't sell equipment. I don't know why you would sell equipment. There's probably some you would, but don't sell any of that stuff until the sale is over and most of the time it will have a little exclamation point next to it telling you warning you that it's on sale so at least I got that part of the UI down that's cool there's the supply raid things we talked about we'll get to the trade-in in a minute and there's the notes on the trade-in there so now let's get over to the sales All right, here's the featured page and the first thing they're selling hard going after you with is are the cards okay <laughs> So one of those things I just showed you for the soccer deal is a collectible, a electronic collectible game, which I don't quite, I can't wrap my mind around that. I know a lot of people play them and there's a bunch of them out there and maybe some of them are actually fun, but trying to get my old school brain around a collectible electronic card game, I suppose it's not that big of a stretch because I, I collect a bunch of tanks in the game, but I, I don't know, it's strange. Card games seem to be a social event to me more than... A computer event but anyway they've, they've modeled it after that the funny thing to me one of the many funny things to me is that for 80 bucks 80 bucks you get cards okay 
a, a light mark, a, a second tier, a tier two, I'll spit it out, light mark VIC. That's a little tank. A garage slot for your VIC, so you don't have to use one of your own. 20,000 gold, that's okay. 30 days of premium, and then a bunch of mission reserves. And a 30 missions times 5 XP for a victory, which is actually pretty fantastic. That's actually really good if you're grinding. However, all of this stuff, minus the tank and the slot and the gold, all of it is something you can get in the game by just playing the game. Now this makes it faster, and that's what you're purchasing. You know, the reserves, I got that. But it's 80 bucks. That That's crazy. To complete the card set, which you complete by playing the game. Which, I know I've said this in the past, but this one is crazy. And there's a whole bunch of options there. You can just buy the whole set. I mean, if you just want to be a master collector and don't want to play any of the game and get everything, then you drop 80 bones and off you go. And then I'm... You know, in the past, with the Christmas one, there were a bunch of good crew members involved and some some camo, right? And some other things like that that were actually sort of valuable in-game stuff. But this is all minus the tank. And you make an argument for the reserves, although I would then counter-argue that the, with, you can do just as much just playing the game. You don't need the reserves. It'll take you longer. That's a very... It's very strange. All right. L60 War Chest. Another small tank with a bunch of stuff on it. We talked about it, and I just mentioned it again. The STG is back in... The shop. Now, here's a good one, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, friends, enemies, whoever's watching. Wargaming, if you're there, probably not, but if you were, I believe it's here on premium account. Let's go over the premium account. And let's, uh oh, uh oh. Warning, we have another, we have another item with a tank as a secondary item thrown in for free. The tank is free. All right, we got a free tank. Remember when I did that, but I didn't get the gold for the tank I owned? And we went round and round about that. All right, so remember, if you will, when that happened to me, that it was in the details, right? Down at the bottom, it said, hey, sucker, you are not going to get the gold for your tank because this is not a tank and premium. This is premium and a tank, don't you know? That's how it's done and you don't get the gold for the tank. <laughs> am I belaboring it enough? I think I am. Okay, so fair enough. It was in the details, in the details. So I loved it when I saw this. I'm like, ooh, is it in the details? Was it in the, de have we, have we, do we now have a policy that makes sense and it's not arbitrary and capricious? Let's find out. Okay, 30 days and a free BT. So my assumption is much like the one that I did is I have, you are not going to get the gold for the BT. Now, not a lot of people own an S, a BTSV. It's a pretty rare tank. But, you know, some people do. So let's say you do. And you click here. Remember, if you click purchase, you don't find the details. So don't click purchase. you got to go to this page first. So you know everything about your purchase. So you do your due diligence. You've done all of your research. So we'll go bundle content, BT garage slot, print. Wait a minute. How come premium account isn't first and then these things are second because it's the secondary thing? Never mind. Doesn't matter. It's in the details. It's going to be in the details. We're going to find out. All right. With this special officer, office, officer, <laughs> officer, I'm drunk. With this special offer, get a great deal on an entire year of premium account time and get a free BTSV premium light tank exclamation point. Exclamation. Wait a minute. Hmm. The final cost may vary depending on the payment. See the legal documents. We're getting to. Well, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? I'm not going to drop $84 to find out this little gem. But, uh. I am curious. I'm not $84. dollars cur 85 It's $84.99. Let's round up. Math in public. $85. U.S. Where we play soccer, not football. That's a callback to earlier in the video. I don't know if you noticed that, but that's what it was. I don't know. I don't know. No idea. 
you know? <laughs> Am I holding on to it too tight? Am I holding on to this too tight? Probably, absolutely. Is it another example of just sloppiness? Yeah, absolutely. Just another sloppy example. Let us move on. Let us. Where's my list? All right. Over to the vehicles. We're spending a lot of time. I have a lot of shilling to do, so hold on tight. Strap in. We're still still shilling for the company. We have the, uh, whatever this thing is, KV2 Warhammer Edition. Only a couple days left on that, a few days left on that. STG, you can see, is in there. That Schmaltrum's in there. That's actually a pretty cool Tier 6. Pretty well balanced, actually, and, and not bad. Great little gun on it. Fun tank. Would I recommend buying it? I don't know. Reference everything I've said for the last about four, five, six months. L60, we mentioned that, and that's pretty much it. So there's quite a bit of different different little sales going on, and they continue to, to charge hard in the marketing department. All right, let's go to the trade-ins and talk about that for a moment. All right, trade-ins, there's a couple things you need to know. First of all, vehicles that can be traded in, there's quite a few that can be traded in, so it's a long list. Tier 6, 7, and 8. Cannot be traded in is the standard list that's been around. The one that continu continues to baffle me is why the 44100 is on there. All of these are pretty special tanks. The 44100 has been for sale. It was a prize tank for a mission, big mission, marathon, but it's been for sale, I, I think. So why it continues to be on that list, I don't know. And then how to do it, which I'm going to go over the how to do it. There's a big list of things here as well. The important one is to remember anything on sale is is only going to give you the sale price on gold and oh magically there's a bunch of tanks on sale so you have to be careful but we'll take a look at that as we get to it I'll show you how that works all right this took me a couple takes to figure out because it's so convoluted first things first you have got to have enough gold to make the trade for it to even be eligible or available to look at it for example and it has to be, you can only trade in for a tech, tr tech tree tank, all right? So you can only trade a tank for a tech tree tank. You cannot trade a tank for, say, something in the shop. 46KR and Scorpion. I don't have either one of those. You'll notice that this is hashed out and I cannot get to the 46KR. That's because I only have 507 gold. And whatever I can trade cannot possibly get me to the 7,300 or whatever it is that I need. I need my glasses to see that better. However, I can trade something in for the Scorpion and get the Scorpion with my 500 gold or just a pure trade. So we'll go to the Scorpion, we click on it. This is the UI that's been around for a while with this idea. I need 3,605 to get the Scorpion, so I select here. First things first, here's the exclamation that says, hey Dopey, you're only getting really half the price or 30% of the price, whatever the sale is on that particular tier. Of vehicle, so I'm not getting my full worth out of my 4503. I would recommend against it. The best one I can trade in is the HTC, and it's at 3,500. So if I select that, then that gets me to 3,500, and I need an additional 105, right? Because the Scorpion is 3,605. It says it's so convoluted. This is type in the 105. This is me now taking 105 of my gold that was up here of the 500 and so I had, and now it makes the exchange button available to click. And if I did that, I would get rid of my T28 HTC and I would pick up the Scorpion. You can also add things if you want to go ahead and add crew right in there. And all of a sudden now I need 905 and guess what? I can't do it because I only have 500 something available. So some of the options in there, that's how that works. Interestingly, even though it knows I can't possibly get here, 7,395, What's really interesting is I can actually attempt to use the Dicker Max, which only gives me so much, and I need another 2,485, but I don't have the gold to do that, so it actually lets me get to this page. So there, there's only a few selection things they can do on each level of their UI, so just watch out for that. That may confuse you if you go, oh, it says I can do my Dicker Max, but I can't because I actually don't have enough gold up here to make that happen. It can be a little confusing if you're not really paying attention to what's going on. All right, that is the trade-in stuff. Let's talk a little bit about soccer. Not too much. Football. Football. 
All right, for the soccer thing, I'm not going to dive deep into this like I did with Christmas. I'm just not playing this game that much right now in order to do all the soccer stuff, and I'm grinding credits anyway. But there's two places, like I said. The first one is this is the card game that we mentioned, that you get to it by clicking on old Gigi. The interesting thing about this is one of the rewards is old Gigi here, and I already have him from another mission earlier, so my question then is do you get two, two Gigi's? That might be actually pretty cool because he's a... A zero skill or a free bro, uh, free six cents commander. Interesting. Don't know. But you get the card to do that. The other part of the soccer thing is up here in the missions, which we touched on just a little bit. And it takes forever to load, because why not? If you go down to the stage rewards here, this is a little bit confusing. My understanding is I'm at stage one, because that's what it's telling me right here. I've unlocked that. And it looks like it only takes one win or one point. I don't know if this is goals and assists or games or wins or all three. Dig into it. <laughs> I know I'm the guy that's supposed to figure it out, but I just don't care. I did get this, this pretty cool camo I talked about, and that was pretty easy to get. And then there's a bunch of additional awards right here. And I don't know when this stuff shows up. I, I'm unsure if I've already got it or if it's at the end. I think there's some verbiage here, reward at the end of the stage. So this must be what you get. So really, you only need to put, play a couple games to get this first reward, and it's a bunch of stuff. So even if you're not going to touch soccer, I would play three or four games and make sure you get this first level. Make sure that's unlocked right there, and you're good to go for quite a bit of good stuff, to be quite honest, if that's exactly how it works. It's a little bit strange. This says stage one, reward at the end, a unique football sign. It's awarded the best player out of all who ranked first in the rankings. Even though it says group one, I don't really understand what that means, but this seems to indicate the number one player gets a signed soccer ball. Okay, pretty cool. It's odd that it's both. They're both right here. I don't. They both say one. I don't understand that because it looks like number four is getting towards the top. If you go back, you can see who's doing what to who. These are all these guys. You know, 225 points already, and a lot of guys already at 225. Which I assume is the max now. It's group one. That's what that looks like. I guess they've already maxed out right there. It's really hard to understand. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense because that only goes to 200, not 225. See what I'm saying? There's You can probably figure it out if you read it. My, the bigger point of what I'm talking about with this is all of their, all of their specials and things are convoluted like that. It, it makes no logical sense. It's, it's very bizarrely constructed every time. And it's exhausting to try to figure it out sometimes. <laughs> and since I'm not that interested in soccer anyway, I'm going to let it go. But I do have one more thing to talk about on soccer, and that's Mystery Ball. So let's get over to that. Over on the web page, you'll notice this little news item. Kick off with the Mystery Ball. Click on that. Come down here, and you'll see the different games. Now, these are not all the games. From what I can tell, these are not all the games that are happening in the World Cup because it looks like they've split them across regions. I was looking at one of the news sites and he, they were talking about Mystery Ball and I was trying to follow what was going on. I tried to put the codes in, but I noticed they were EU codes and I looked at the games and they were different games. You can tell that this is Argentina, Mexico, Panama. So most of the American teams from the Americas, that's that's who you've got here. And it, if the team isn't from the Americas, it's just because that's who's they're, who they're playing. For example, Egypt's playing, played Uruguay, or will. I'm not sure if they've done. They should be done by now. The point is, you're going to pick one team. You're going to take that code, and then you're going to put it into this little spot up here under your name, where you go activate Wargaming code. So I just highlighted it, copied it, put it here, pasted it, and clicked Redeem. And it will say thank you, and there's another thing that says confirm. In theory, when that team wins, if you pick the right team, then you get some goodies out of it, which are down here. If your team wins, you get these things. You, <laughs> you get three days of premium and one day of premium. <laughs> what? And you get three personal reserves. At least these are all different. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> three days in one day. Four, otherwise known as four days of premium. <laughs> is that because they haven't actually coded four days of premium? Because you can't just buy four days of premium. 
you either have to take three or one, and they decided they wanted it to be four, so they put two different packages on there. Is is that what just happened? Is that happening? I have not seen this work yet. I've been sort of paying attention down in my uh, my notifications down here, and I'm not tracking the, the tournament. So if anyone's noticed if this has worked, let me know. It may be that I've just picked losers the whole time. And quite frankly, I'm not interested. I'm not interested enough to go in and see if it worked. But I am interested enough in getting the goodies by at least throwing in the codes. Last thing to realize, though, is code availability matters. So this Uruguay and Egypt was only good from the 12th to the 15th, which makes me assume the game's been played already. So we are here. The next one available is Colombia and Japan, starting on the 16th until the 19th, which indicates to me the game's on the 20th, maybe. That would make sense, I guess. You have to guess before it happens, right? <laughs> I hope I'm right. Anyway, make sure you're throwing in those codes. If I figured out or someone tells us down below, that would be fantastic. I'll either let you know or probably someone's already doped all this out and can fill us in down in the comments. Let's move on to something that I can't read, but I'm going to tell you what it is when I figure it out. They were numbers. I figured it out. We're going to talk about 1.0.2, which is now out. So we've got the change list right here. Boot camp, boot camp. So they added some stuff to the boot camp, which is actually pretty cool. At the end of it, if you, when you finish it, you get a voucher for a tier six tank, tech tree tank, not a premium. Even if you haven't got to tier six, which is kind of a neat idea actually. Tier six is a great place to get experience and start learning about the actual game meta, especially at the higher tiers. From one to four or five, it's just complete chaos. And you don't learn a whole lot about what you need to know from tier six and above down at those tiers. In fact, you can bring a lot of bad habits up with you. So it might be throwing a bone, give them a tier six. What I don't know is if you can then start grinding past that or if you have to catch up to that tank. That's That I don't know. But the important piece and what I thought was strange, you have to have fought 1,000 battles or less. So they don't let experienced players... man. You should let the experienced players get into that boot camp and see what it's like. And maybe they can give you some good feedback, Wargaming. That was a strange decision to me. And who cares if you gave away one tier six tech tree tank to an experienced player? I mean, they already have them, right? I don't understand decisions like that. It's very strange. This is a bunch of stuff that they've done. All right, so the revisions... They changed some locations on Runeberg Cliff, Abbey, Sand River, and Tundra. Uh, so far, I've been playing, and I, I, I'm going to be honest, I haven't found anything different or odd about those maps, which surprises me because I'm pretty familiar with the maps. There's changes on Fjords, Malnovka, Mountain Pass, and Erlenberg. I have played for, Fjords a couple times, Fjords, and, uh, and Malinovka, and I don't remember seeing anything really different there. So if you've seen the changes, let me know. I'm curious what they are, and I'll... I'll Keep a better eye out for them. They don't seem to be significant, is what I would say. I'm not really sure what they changed. Klondike's back. Remember, that's for Grand Battles. So now there's two maps for Grand Battles. That's interesting. Customization is now for Tier 6 and 8. So they're slowly adding all the different customization. Remember, you couldn't put paint on anything, but I think some premiums and Tier 10s. Well, now you can kind of put that paint stuff on 6s and regular 8s. Not too bad. Changes to the interface. I haven't messed around with that too much. The K91, the 277, as I mentioned, some follow some vehicles were added to super test. We don't really need to talk about that. The 268 got a slight nerf. Unknown if that's going to change anything. We'll see what happened with that. I don't think it was enough, to be quite honest. The K90, there's a lot of stuff here. And then the 430 version 2 was changed around which was a bummer because I actually liked it the way it was. Now it's supposed to be some kind of sniper tank on the, in the vein of the 416. And that is 1.02. Kind of just a tweak type of patch. Not a whole lot of big changes in there. I've seen a lot of 277s, a few K91s, more 277s. But they seem to be decently balanced so far. As soon as I get enough silver out there, I'll go ahead and buy those and, and do some reviews. Also, you can expect a review from the standard B pretty soon. Maybe get that out today. Not out today, but finish it today and then get it out. But that's pretty much it for Coffee Talk. Father's Day. <clears throat> get your football out there and throw a couple passes and make a touchdown. <laughs> I 
or kick a goal, whatever, soccer. All right, I am out. We'll see you next week.